we praise on this day. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to be all that you've ordained for us to be. We want you in our lives, Lord. Sit on the throne of our lives and order our footsteps. For it is you, Jesus, who makes the difference in our lives. And we give you thanks, we give you praise, we give you glory. Father, I ask right now, Lord, that you would touch right now, Lord God. Sister Estelle, Harris, Lord. Lay your hands on her, Lord God, and bless her, Lord, and give her the strength that she needs. Remember, Lord God, Sister Guerrero, all the way in Panama. Bless her, Lord God, and restore her from the stroke. The enemy attacked her, Lord God, but you can restore her. In the name of Jesus, bless her son, Steve, Lord God, who went to see about her. Father God, cause them to return back safely over the airways in the name of Jesus Christ. Continue to bless our chief apostle, Bishop Bonner, Lord God. Strengthen him from the inside out. And bless all of you people today. We will praise your name forever. We ask these blessings in that name that is above every name. The name Lord Jesus Christ. And let God's people say amen. amen. Please remain standing and open your Bibles to the book of Matthew's Gospel, chapter 26. In the name of the Lord Jesus, today is Holy Communion Sunday. And I want to ask everyone to remain until the benediction. In the name of the Lord, let us commune with God. Well, let us hear a word from God before we go into observing Holy Communion. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 26, the first two verses, and then we want to go to verse 14 to 16, and then verse 20 to verse 30. I want us to just rehearse, remind ourselves of the context of these verses of Scripture so that we can always have a clear understanding why we observe Holy Communion and understand the environment that existed around Holy Communion when it was first instituted so that we will not be casual or insensitive to spiritual things. Look at verse Number one and verse number two, and let's read it together in concert. Read. And it came to pass, when Jesus had finished all these things, he said unto his disciples, Ye know that after two days is the feast of the Passover, and the Son of Man is betrayed to be crucified. Verse 14 to verse 16. Then one of the twelve, called Judas Iscariot, went unto the chief priests and said unto them, What will you give me? And I will deliver him unto you. And they covenant with him for thirty pieces of silver. And from that time he sought opportunity to betray him. Verse 20 through verse 30 read, Now when the even was come, he sat down with the twelve. And as they did eat, he said, Verily I say unto you, one of you shall betray me. And they were exceedingly sorrowful and begin every one of them to say unto him, Lord, is it I? And he answered and said, He that dippeth his hand with me in the dish, the same shall betray me. The Son of Man goeth as it is written of him. But woe unto that man 
by whom the Lord, son of man is betrayed. It had been good for that man if he had not been born. Then Judas, which betrayed him, answered and said, Master, is it I? He saith unto him, Thou hast said. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take eat, this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out into the Mount of Olives. And let God's people say amen. May be seated in the presence of our great God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I want us to sit prayerfully for a few moments with contemplation of eating from the Lord's table and at the same time being mindful of how crucial and how important Holy Communion really is. Praise the name of our God. The important thing here, saints of God, is the Lord has painted us a picture with what surround his institution of what is called Holy Communion or the Last Supper. And the thing that jumps out is recorded in verse number 21. And as they did eat, he said, Verily I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. The subject matter that I want us to focus on are the words of Jesus. One of you shall betray me. The sub-theme that I want to put under that for your consideration and for our contemplation and thought the tragedy of betrayal. The tragedy of betrayal. Uh, now the Lord's Spirit is in our midst. We have rejoiced. We have praised Him. We have worshipped Him. He has manifest His presence in our midst. And we are sitting in the presence of God. For he said, where two or three are gathered together in my name, he said he'll be in the midst of us. This is one of the miracles of serving God and living for God. That where believers such as we are, we can assemble ourselves together and the very creator of the universe abides in our midst. God does not have to come down or come from nowhere. He is with us right now. Can somebody shout, he is with me right now. And this is the truth. This is so very, very in truth. Saints of God, and this is why it is so necessary for each of us 
to have a relationship with our 